Hey guys, it's PlayStation Hero, and today we are going to be doing an unboxing video on uh, this. Uh, the Heads Up OBD2 Display um, by Scotia. I don't know how to pronounce that name, but basically what it is, it's this. So it gives you all the information on your dashboard, on your windshield, so you never really have to look down. And... My car does not give me the right stuff that I want, and plus I thought this would just be really cool to have. And it actually turns out that we're looking at the Spanish side rather than the English side. But it doesn't matter. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get into this video real quick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you all how to set it up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open this thing up. And we're going to see what it looks like when you open it. So... Give me a second here. So once you just slide that little thing off, there's a little piece of tape there. Then you just need to cut this piece of tape off, which I've already done. And then you just lift up, and here it is. So it looks like we have this, which is the LED display. And then it comes with the 16-prong um, the adapter that plugs into your computer car's computer chip that reads like dashboard information so we have a mini USB that most likely plugs into here somewhere and it also gives us this thing which is surprisingly sticky and what this is is you put your LED display inside of this little thing here and this side is sticky so whenever you put it on plastic of your dashboard or whatever it uh, sticks and it doesn't allow it to slide or shake and then it comes with this which is a user manual and it also comes with this which I believe is the reflector piece which allows us to read this correctly so now we're out here um, we're going to actually install the device into my car now it's really simple as long as your car isn't like a 2001 or below then your car should have the DBS uh, 16 prong plug-in if you don't then just check your manual and see if you have it or not uh, most cars that were built uh, after 2001 have them so if you have a car that's you know been there then you should already have it mine's 2005 if you have a Scion TC 2005 model then you can just follow my steps if you don't then just follow the steps they're practically the exact same okay so we're going to go ahead and actually look at what we need to do. What you're going to, going to want to do is locate the DBS computer chip part, okay, that you plug it into, the 16 prong. Now, most cars, no matter the model, they're usually found underneath the driver's seat or underneath the dashboard. Now, if you have a Scion TC 2005 model, I did a little bit of looking yesterday for it and I found it. So, I'm going to come down here and... Uh, this thing right here, that is the DBS computer chip thing, and you're going to want to plug in your, uh, your device into that. So we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in, and we'll go from there. So the piece that you want to plug into that little computer chip we saw is this piece right here. As you can see, it has the 16 prongs on it that go into the little socket, and then we have a mini USB now you're going to plug this into that little white thing as I showed you earlier and you're going to plug this into the actual LED display and once we get to that step I'll show you that but for now we're going to plug this in real quick. Now plugging this thing in is actually pretty simple. There's only one way you can push it in so if it doesn't push in the right way then you're putting it in the incorrect way. So it goes in like this. Once you plug in this into the computer chip you're going to have this much wire. I don't know the measurement and I'm, I don't even want to try to estimate it. Now it's a lot of wire. Depending on your car, you can hide it in different places. Me, I'm just going to hide it in like the trim here along and it's going to come all the way to over here. And this is, if you have a Scion, that's what I would do. And that allows you to put it anywhere from right here to right there to right there and even right here. Now the other thing is. You're gonna, this is what you're gonna put it on right here. 
and you're going to want to put this on a flat surface get out of the package it looks like this it does look like it has a sun or a scratch protection screen around it which is a good thing and all you gotta do is take that off uh, but for now we're, I just want to see what the placement would look like up here and where it would be best on for my vision Okay. so now this is the LED monitor right here which is going to display all the information that your dashboard provides or the memory chip provides okay so pretty simple you just take it out and slip it right out of the package so once you get that there you're going to want to get this micro or the mini USB and you're going to plug it into the port which is located on the actual device here as I'm back and this is what it looks like it's you can't really see it very well I don't think on the camera in fact I don't even think you can see it at all on the camera so I'm gonna go ahead and put up a screen real quick okay guys so now that I've put this screen up the camera can see it now without the screen you as the driver you're able to see it but the camera it's not able to see it but you can okay uh, so for the Scion TC2005 model, I found a few spots to place this at. The first one being right here in this corner, which allows you to see just enough because you don't want it to be in your way of your view. You don't want it to like distract you the whole time. Another spot was right here, and that's like right there in your vision, but not too much in your vision. And then the other spot was right here which is a little bit higher up okay just a little bit higher up and then the next spot was right over here right there now the reason it's important to get it correctly placed is because you not all cars will, will do this to it but mine does okay if you have a Scion it's gonna happen due to the angle of the windshield it's going to produce a double image so that means that the projector is going to reflect two images okay so you're going to see like one strong like original image and then there's like a, a very dim light falling behind it it's like blurred vision a little bit so to avoid that they give you this reflect this clear reflective film uh, like you know back in the day I guess not that back in the day I'm not saying anybody's old okay don't get offended but you, whenever you put that up it acts as a mirror and it only it makes it one thing so it's not going to show double anymore it's just going to be one thing and you can only place it down once and they only come with one unfortunately so if you're getting your uh, windshield replaced soon or something like that you get your windshield replaced and then put this up because you only get one film one clear film thing and I don't know where to buy them other than online and you'll have to wait for it to come in so once you find out where the best place for it is in your opinion or whatever then you're going to want to do the next step and we're going to get into that right now so once you find out where you want to place your thing at you're going to want to put this onto the windshield you need to wet the windshield with a damp cloth uh, i would suggest cleaning it and then wiping it with a damp cloth and then afterwards you're going to want to um you're going to want to put the film on you're going to take off the screen and it says to start from the middle and work your way to the edges to avoid any air bubbles Okay guys, now I have the, the clear film, and this is what it looks like. I don't really like where I placed it because it kind of distracts me. There's a huge circle dead center of where I kind of see things at, and that's just kind of bothering me. Now, it might not bother you, but I wish I would have put it somewhere like right there, or a little bit lower. But other than that, it looks awesome right there. Um, it's really hot, so I may look kind of tired. Um, I'm going to take a little drive around the block and see how, how it is. And we're going to look into some more features it offers. Okay, guys. So now that I have it installed and everything, you can see it here. It looks pretty good during the daytime, even with this. Uh, it does look pretty bad, though. Um, you know, whenever you're driving and it's like beating down sunlight yeah it it's hard to see it uh but it looks great in like shadows and at night it's gonna look really good it's gonna look crisp man like right now it looks really crisp i don't know how you guys see it but it looks really good um 
there are several features on here and right now uh, we're going to talk about them the features on here are temperature speed speed alarms uh, rpm alarm um, the voltage level and stuff like that so the first thing that the default is on it's already on miles per hour as you can see right here I mean it's going to be a little shaky because the camera is not doesn't pick up stuff like this so you know then if you click here on the middle this one shows your um, your temperature of your water in your car okay next option which is this it shows you your voltage in your car and the next option is that one now um you can set speed alarms so that way if you go over a speed that you don't want to go over like let's say 100 miles per hour if you ever go over 100 miles per hour it makes a beeping sound rapidly if you don't want your rpms to go over a certain amount of threshold let's say seven eight being the maximum and six and a half being where my car would probably overheat let's say you want it to be on six and a half so if you put it on six and a half it'll beep whenever it reaches that which you know warns you you need to stop pressing on the gas or accelerating at such a great speed or whatever the case might be so that's pretty much it guys for this um i think it's a great buy i would definitely get it um so i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe don't forget to check out any other videos you haven't seen yet i will be having another video on something else i'm putting in my car which will be very interesting i think so stay tuned for that it should be coming out soon uh thanks for watching guys have a good day